You brought up uh, going to see uh, Guns N' Roses in Australia a few years ago, uh, and they, they had mm-hmm. Angus come out, and uh, you were saying that a- after the show, you were talking to Angus backstage, and you said, hey, did you ever mm-hmm. consider uh, having Sammy Hagar uh, sing for the band uh, you know, early on or, mm-hmm. or, or when uh, most mm-hmm. recently when Axel filled in? And uh, just mm-hmm. what, what a great suggestion and, and something that I don't know that a lot of other people – uh, you know, would, would think about, obviously Angus didn't think of that, but, uh, that was, uh, that, that was, it uh, was an, a, a genius idea on your part. Thank you. Um, um, I love that being described as a genius idea. Um, <laughs> I, I think, I think, um, Sammy Hagar would have been a great singer from the very beginning. I mean, Brian's a great choice and I get that, but you've only got to see Sammy's work in, um, Apart from his solo stuff, which is extraordinary, he's just extraordinary singer, amazing singer, and um, yeah, when it, when it, when he first came to prominence, if you like, uh, like on a world stage, so to speak, um, was with uh, Van Halen. But um, as a singer, I mean, you know, he's he's amazing, and I just remember saying uh, to Angus because we hadn't, uh, Ang and I hadn't seen one another for quite. A lot of years, you know, since the sort of mid late, well, mid ladies. I think the last time I went to an ACDC concert was here in Australia, and it was very brief. We just, you know, we didn't have time to sort of talk. But um, um, uh, big Axel had asked, or the band had asked uh, me to stay and do Nice Boys uh, as an encore, and and Angus to play, you know, a couple of songs with them because they'd just done this tour where he filled in. Yeah. And, and um, you know, we were um, – Angus and I were, were catching up. So we were sort of, you know, making up for lost time, I suppose. So there was a lot of banter around um, – you know, like what we're going to do and blah, 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 blah. And, the, yeah, the, that just came up. And I said, well, how did you go about it? You know, like, and they didn't have auditions. He just selected. And, um, yeah, of course, range is, uh, you know, a factor. Of course. But um, but he also wanted, you know, obviously someone who could sell tickets um, and those kind of things. I mean, um yeah, so I just said, well, you know, I think it was a great choice. I mean, at, you know, I mean, obviously, any any controversial choice uh, made like that you know, would would you know the haters, so to speak, would you know, come out of the woodwork? Oh, you know, like how do you, you know, like so <laughs> fuck off, right? You know, it's not your fucking band for a start. You know, of course, it's like and that's the way Angus would have looked at it, right? Yeah, and um. Um, yeah, and I said I, it was a great, you know, spirited, brave, uh, appropriate choice. And I said, was there anyone else ever in the running? And he said, oh, you know, I considered a couple, you know, because he Angus doesn't give too much away. I said, do you ever think of Sammy Hagar? And he looked at me and he went, fuck, no. <laughs> and it was like... <laughs> Fuck no! Why didn't I? You know, like <coughs> I said. Well, you know, he can sing the he can sing the shit out of anything. Sammy, one hundred percent. Fucking, yeah. you know, what a monster, you know. Yeah. And I said, um, and he's a pretty flashy dude on stage. Of course, like he's got great stage presence. Got stage, great stage presence. And um, it was funny because you know, like Angus just shook his head and he went, "No, mate." He said, "Fucking." Wow, yeah, Sammy Hagar. So his reaction told me that he thought as much of Sammy as a singer as I did. Yeah. But it just hadn't occurred to him. You can say- 